Welcome, Welcome to, to RV with, with the Maracas. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Rhonda. This week we thought we'd share seven things we like and have learned since we started RVing in the past six months when we got our Thor Axis. First on our list is just how popular RVing is. Before last year, I would have never thought that RVing was as big a thing as it is. I'd never thought about living full-time in an RV as an option because we were full-time committed worker bees. I'd been watching YouTube videos for years but never even seen an RV or video. Now I'm subscribed to about 200 RVing channels. It's great how many people make a living traveling and doing YouTube. I'd have never guessed that a guy living in a van who looks like Santa, cheap RV living, would have almost 250,000 subscribers. Or Nomadic Fanatic, a guy driving around with a 26-pound cat. I love that cat! Has 175,000 mm -hmm. subscribers, but now I watch both of them regularly. I grew up camping with my parents. We had a truck with a camper on top. We visited lots of rivers in North Florida and the Smoky Mountains. We roughed it a bit because we didn't have air conditioning or inside bathrooms, but we did have a lot of fun and I have lots of really good memories. Okay, number two on our list. A house on wheels is better than just about any hotel room. Because of work, I was a platinum member of Marriott Hotels for several years and thought a nice hotel room was the way to go for travel or vacation. But now I enjoy having an RV with my own bed and our own bathroom. It's really kind of cool. There's no cleaning smells and no moving the luggage around. She's going to complain have RV. about that every time. Yeah, and it's nice to have the kitchen and the bathroom when you're traveling and being able to stop and have lunch and just have a little bit of private time in your own space. Nothing like stopping at the uh, Georgia Welcome Center for a little yeah. while. So number three on our list is how little stuff you really need. A few years ago, we moved from a 2,500 square foot house to a 1,600 square foot house and thought we had downsized to the max. I got rid of a couple pickup truck loads of books. We got rid of clothes, tools, all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. But we really cut down to just what we needed. We thought. Um, it's really easy to get by with a place setting for four in an RV. Um, we tried to do it with just two things, two forks, two knives, but I'm just a little messy and I didn't like washing up every time after you use something. So, so when we think about RVing full time at 200 square feet, um, it's a little bit overwhelming to think about downsizing. We're not sure we're quite ready for the full time RVing quite yet. But um, we definitely have something to think about. No, we're definitely part-timers for now. Definitely. Item number four on our list, how much more fun it is living at a campground versus just visiting for the day. <laughs> we did a lot of day hiking at state parks <laughs> down in South Florida, Southwest Florida. Mm -hmm. But now that we're RVers, we usually spend a few days at each park. And this gives us a chance to really explore the park, meet interesting fellow campers. Uh, we enjoy bike riding and exploring new places. Um, I really like um, seeing the different wildlife and watching the birds and taking pictures. It's really a lot of fun. Now it's funny because we really live out in the woods and there's lots of birds and stuff here. Mm -hmm. But it's always fun to go explore new places. I like taking pictures of them here too. It's kind of fun. So our fifth item is, is how easy it is to operate the RV. Um, we were a bit intimidated by driving something as big as an RV. Um, once that became easy, the thought of having a tow car seemed to be a little intimidating. Joe really thought the tow car would be really um, intimidating, but he was totally wrong. Um, we, uh, our thoraxis, um, while our thoraxis isn't as smooth and easy driving as the car, it is really um, not much harder. And with the tow car, we really don't even feel it back there. It's kind of cool. We had watched a lot of videos on how to set up the RV for camping, you know, especially how to deal with the dump station. If you've never done it before, it's, you know, something you got to think about. But it seems we were well prepared since we haven't had any problems yet at all. Okay, item number six on our list. How much of a do-it-yourself or lifestyle RVing is? We've always been into learning do-it-yourself skills, and an RV gives you the chance to use many of them. Mm -hmm. um, 
we've done a video on mobile internet and something I really enjoy. Uh, there's mechanics of doing things like changing out batteries and fuses and all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, woodworking skills, moving stuff around, fixing things in the RV, and then of course electrical stuff, 12 volt and 120. It, we've gotten good at it. Over the years, we've gotten really good at it. Um, we've actually watched a lot of YouTube videos, um, and actually we like watching that more than TV now. We actually turned off our TV, so we don't even have that anymore. We now watch YouTube videos like most people watch TV shows. One of my favorite shows is Off Grid Schoolie, and seeing the months of work that goes into turning a school bus into a really nice tiny home. Joe laughed when I watched a whole video where Will Pros taught us how solar electricity systems work. And that's going to be our next major project. We're going to add lithium batteries, an inverter, and then solar panels up on top of the roof. We'll be ready for... Spring. Yeah, spring. Spring. I was thinking about the, um, what is it called when you go off... Grid? Boondocking! Boondocking! So, our next item is, number seven, is don't wait. We both love it. It would have been really nice to have started this sooner, but we were working full-time jobs and they were 40 to 60 hour weeks. We had community commitments. Our daughter was involved in all kinds of activities, so we really just didn't have the time to do it. But retirement has given us more time. We love being able to travel during the week, but there are less crowds, and this really seems to be the right time for us to experience RV living part-time. Don't wait. Do it now. Wait but we waited. <laughs> Do it when it's right for you. Do it when it's right for you. Don't <laughs> wait till it's not. <laughs> Don't not do it because you're scared. Yeah. We enjoyed sharing those seven things with you. It's something we thought about and spent a couple hours talking about. No fights. <laughs> um, thanks for watching RVing with the Maracas. Tune in next time for a visit to another beautiful Florida State Park. So, so, uh, <laughs> I did that to make her feel good. <laughs> Subscribe to follow along with our adventures. See you next time. Come on. Let, this could be our new video. Our new thing. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, Lord.